All right, guys, so update uh, on the latest. ECU problems are still occurring. So uh, in that regard, we're going to send a couple more emails back and forth between uh, do-it-yourself auto-tune, see if we can't figure out what's going on. Um, but I'll put my, you know, do-it-yourself plug-and-play system back in for now because I, I need to go for a drive. It's been a while. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I need to readjust this bikini top, which I don't think I've talked about actually at all. So um, the bikini top itself should sit a little more flush than that. But it is uh, from Project G. It is, I can't even remember the price, like three, $400, something like that. Um, and it's a beautiful piece of work, honestly. You can get them in a couple of different fabrics. Um, I went with, uh, I think, just the cloth kind of thing, just to make sure. I didn't really want the, the I think it's not leather, but it's something similar to that. But uh, yeah, it looks, I love it. It looks great, especially when it's stretched all the way back. That way you get maximum airflow. I mean, these are great for airflow, but you know, windows open, half top down is pretty much what it looks like. So we're gonna try and uh, get this on the road again today. I haven't driven this since probably the burnouts and the donuts and all that. So uh, yeah, time to get on the road and just enjoy it. And then we can talk about the things that I don't like about this car. So stick around. Starting at number one, I uh, obviously still need to paint the engine bay. So key things that's going on with that. Um, I also need to, cause this just popped off right here with ease. So I need to replace that itself. So I don't have that issue anymore. Cause that will obviously cause a huge vacuum leak. And then we're stuck with a problem from that standpoint. And I have a vacuum block down here that'll assist me with all this. So I just need to get that as a T-fitting again, run it back to DCU and then we'll be set. Uh, I need to fix my injector harness because this just pops off without any, any issue at all. If I turn it far enough over, it has no way of coming out, but that's just one of the things. Um, I thought this would be great, but this, Look at that, already loose, I didn't even touch it. Um, that I probably will end up replacing just because it doesn't, yeah, it's not not exactly what I was hoping it would be. So maybe put that up for sale or something, but uh, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really give me the visual I'm looking for. Um, well, it completes the visual, it doesn't complete the functionality that I'm looking for. So that lid would stay on more, I probably could find a way to fix that, but I'd rather have one that's just meant for this and then we'll be set. But uh, yeah, there's that. We have our headlight bolt, not really a headlight bolt, but the housing bolt that came off on both of them. So that's gotta get replaced. I bought those today, but uh, yeah. Little things, man, little things. I wanna eventually redo the harness uh, for my cops. That'd be pretty sick to just have them as smaller wires. Did a really good job the first time, second time. This is probably my third time of doing it. So I have the experience of doing it, it's just dude, knocking it out, finding the time and setting it aside to knock it out completely. Um, I need to put this back on and I need to actually replace that because mine's broken. So unfortunate, unfortunate. This works fantastic, fantastic. So TJ, thank you, sir. If you ever see this, thank you. To cover that up and prevent all that stuff from going inside, getting sucked up by the motor, blowing it through. Beautiful thing. Uh, I need to cut the carpet that is back here for this. So that way it sits properly. I also need to replace my fuel injector, or fuel injector, geez, my fuel pump. Um, so this is the original fuel pump that I've had in this car. Never had any issues with it, but uh, if I can't, doesn't support E85. It doesn't support E85. So because of that, we need to replace it. We have all the stuff over there, I believe, um, and we should be set, so. I wish I didn't replace the carpet or take the carpet out. I'm glad I replaced the carpet, but I wish I didn't take the original out. It would have been easier just to get something to put over the top of it. So yeah, but it's cool. Not the end of the world. Um, what else? I gotta get a cover for the bottom of that right here. Um, I love the interior. Interior I'm happy with. I just need to get the carpet back here for what we set. Bikini top I love. I need to re-glue this part because it kind of comes up or came up rather, the heat is just destroying everything out here. Um, but in order to mount the bikini top, you really just need a soft top that you're gonna chop the front plate off uh, of that. And then you'll still use the same connecting pieces to latch it in. You'll just have a, if you have a roll cage, this might work for you of just being able to just put the top on and be set. But if you don't, then you can use the 
black plastic bar, I guess is what they call it. I'm not even sure. It's like PVC pipe essentially is what that is. So you just gotta cut it up to a shape and make it work. Uh, so it keeps this part more flush. I adjusted it, so it's better now, a lot better now than what it was before. So um, that's great. I still need to drop this off to get the fender fixed up and the door fixed up. So I need to do that sooner than later because uh, if we're having a car meet soon, I'd like it to be fixed and put back together, but we'll see. Um, it'll probably be next week if I get a chance to drop it off, but we'll, I don't know if it'll be enough time for him to do what he needs, he needs to do. So we'll see. Um, what else? What else? Oh, um, when I pulled the motor out years ago, this... I had set the motor down on the crossbar that's right here. So that kind of slightly bent it. So this slightly is bent up and down. Not the end of the world. Doesn't hurt me any and I don't ever notice it, but yeah, just things. Uh, I'm gonna fix the, what is this thing? Oh man, um, catch can, there you go. I'm gonna fix the catch can lines. I like where they are. I like how it comes here, goes underneath, routes up and goes up. And I like that it's back there. But what I think I'm gonna end up doing is getting a additional line that goes from back there, comes back up to the intake. I just need a three inch pipe uh, to make that work. And then we can try and use this, which is essentially from Ishimoto. Uh, pretty much has a one eighth NPT line or hole at the bottom. You probably can't see because the lighting is really hard to see in there. But because of that, uh, that will kind of hopefully stop a little bit of extra oil from going through. It's eventually gonna get through, but I'm hoping the turbo will just suck it up, be fine. So, but yeah, um, gonna get the cross thing. I had it on there before and I didn't seem like I had any pressure issues. Here, I feel like I have pressure issues because there's, you can see there's oil down there. So one of the things that I wanna knock out and get out of the way as well. So just came back from the drive. Um, now we can go over the things I don't really like about this car. And then I think that concludes uh, everything I'm not a fan of for this car. I like the lights, I like turn signals, everything else, but yeah. So stick around, stay tuned for more content. Catch y'all in the next one. And hopefully we'll be working on fuel related things then when I have the time and the spirit for it. So peace.